Hey guys, it's Ed from I Bring Back. Let's do some more Python. We've been going through this piece at a time, and some of you are probably a little frustrated. You're saying, I want to build big, exciting things and uh, make stuff happen that's a little bit more interesting than what's going on here. And to you, I say, I want that for you too, man. We share that goal, but you got to start small. And so that's what we're doing. We're getting through the rudimentary elements up front. So today, let's talk a little bit about goals. And we're going to look at some of my goals as we learn some list methods. <laughs> Alrighty, so we've got this list here that we've got up in the, uh, the editor. Let's go ahead and run it. Let's get in the interpreter. Let's get this thing live. Alright, everything came through. Didn't tell it to print, so it didn't print. But as we anchor it over here to the side here, let's just take a look at it. So, ask the interpreter for my goals. It returns this list of my goals. I've got defeat foes, eat veal, and make ladies swoon. You may remember from the first time we took a look at lists uh, what this LEN function does length. It tells us how many items are in my goals. And those are pretty good goals. I mean, things to aim for for sure, but I think it's insufficient in terms of describing some things I want to accomplish. So I'd like to add something to that. One way we can do that with lists, you'll find out there's a lot of ways to do most things, but we're looking at methods today. So one way we can add something to a list is to do my goals. Oh, can't have caps lock on. That's going to throw you all the way off. My goals, there we are, dot append. My goals dot append. And when we use dot append on a list, we're going to pass that method there in the parentheses, give it the argument, the thing that we want to append. So let's say I want to teach... Python. Okay. And it runs, doesn't return anything, but if we take a look at my goals, you'll see on the end here is teach Python. And that is exactly what the append method of lists does. It takes whatever you pass it and tacks it on the end. So a uh, similar function, but but of course a little bit different, is the insert function. So if you do my goals dot insert. And let's see, what's another goal that I'd like to accomplish? I don't know, brush my teeth every day. That's important. I'll do brush teeth daily here. And try to run that. It'll give us an error. That's because you need to tell the insert method exactly where you want to put it. So we'll use a position index like we would when we're indexing a list or slicing through a list. Uh, let's go ahead and rerun that. And we do that with a comma. Two arguments passed to this method. We separate them with a comma. So the first one is the value we'd like to in insert. Oh, pardon me, Windows 7. And the second one is the position we want to give it. So we'll say position 3. And you say, Edge, you got that backwards. And I'll say, you're right, I did. Nobody's perfect. Turns out you got to give it the position first. Now, when we take a look here, let's look at my goals. How about it? Position 0, position 1, position 2, and position 3. The new entry, brush teeth daily. And that thing we appended, teach Python. So my goals are growing. But I do more than just type about my goals. Matter of fact, I get some of them done. And I have eaten veal. That's something I've accomplished. So I can go ahead and remove that. That one's off the list. And we remove things from lists if we're going to do it by means of a method. Like I mentioned, there's a couple ways to go about this. Dot remove here and you'll see the GUI go, goes ahead and suggests it to me if I hit tab and we can do this a couple ways we can either pass it a value here so let's type it eat veal all right go ahead and pass it through and let's look at my goals look at that it's gone now if we tried to remove something using alt p to go back here that's not there, so let's say that one of my goals was to uh, kill the moon. You had to throw an error at us. You can only remove things that are in the list, so it'll let you know when you're doing that when you can't get away. Sort of another case in point here. You might think that you can do this by giving it a position to remove. So let's say I want to remove the thing in the first position, which at the current time is make ladies swoon. If I do my goals dot remove one, it'll throw an error because the value one isn't in there. You've got to pass a value, not an index position to that remove method. So that is a terrifically basic look at three very simple methods for lists, but you've learned a little bit of new syntax, something new here, the, uh, the dot action on 
the end of your object and it's something to store away and use up for later so again this is ed for my bring back thank you for spending some time with us we're going to keep pushing these videos out i ask you to push them on to people you know and get us some more subscribers man we're doing our best to crank out quality material and we hope you enjoy it